next video of uh, isometric view so december 2019 question paper of apj kulam technological university so the question is uh, from module 4 question number 7 a sphere of 20 mm radius is placed centrally over a hexagonal slab of side length 30 mm and thickness 20 mm draw the isometric view of the combination so our aim is to draw the isometric view or 3d view of hexagonal slab with sphere so first i will draw the top view and front view of this hexagonal slab with sphere okay so the top view will be a hexagon so i will draw a hexagon and the side of this hexagon is 30 mm side of this hexagon is 30 mm okay and uh, i will dark all the edges because it is the view top view okay then on the top of this uh, hexagonal slab there is a uh, sphere or the i will draw a circle of radius 40 mm the radius of the diameter of this sphere is 40 so you can see the radius is 20 mm so that means the diameter is 40 then i will project this the height of this hexagonal slab is 20 mm so over here i will mark 20 mm from this i will project this so this then i will project this side also then i will project this center of the circle <coughs> so the radius of this circle is 20 mm so this is 20 then center this the diameter of 40 draw a circle so that represents the front view of the sphere okay so this is the top view and this is the front view then i will draw a box here in the top view okay so this is a box and i will name this box one then i will name this a bracket p p is visible p is invisible in the top view these are the corner points of x so this is b bracket q that means b is visible q is invisible in the top view then this point is c bracket r that means c is visible r is invisible in the top view then this point is d bracket s that means d is visible s is invisible in the top view 
and this is e bracket t that means e is visible t is invisible this is uh, f bracket u that means f is visible u is invisible okay then i will i will measure this length this length is 60 and this length is measure this length 51.89 okay then i will draw the isometric view i just uh, draw a line okay baseline then i will mark a point here then i will draw a line here and i will draw a line to here take this angle is 30 degree this angle is 30 degree and this angle is 30 degree then mark this length is the 1 2 length the 1 2 length is 60 so this length is 60 and name this point is 1 and this point is 2 this point is 2 okay then this dimension this is 51.89 51.89 and uh, name this point as 4 name this point as 4 name this point as 4 okay then i will draw a line to here i will draw a line here this this line is parallel to this line and this these two lines are parallel and name this point as 3 this intersecting point is 3 then from all these points draw vertical lines that means the height of this hexagonal slab this height of this hexagonal slab is 20 so this dimension is 20 and from all these points draw vertical lines draw vertical lines from all these points okay so apply equal constraint okay so these two lines are equal that means this length is 20 then these two lines that means this length is 20 then this length is 20 that means the height then join this to this point this with this point and this point and this point okay and name this as again then 2 3 and 4 okay then transfer all these points into this box okay so first i will measure this dimension 1 to a that is this length is actually So this length is 14.969 that means it is 15 millimeter so this is uh, 14.969 okay so mark here point here and here and this distance is 14 point 14.969 then this distance is 14.969 okay then here in this side this distance is from this from this point to here it is 15.031 okay so mark here mark here one point and here one point 15.031 15.031 
3 1 here it is uh, 15.03 okay and uh, name this point as this is capital A top point and this is capital B and in bottom side this is capital P and this point is capital Q okay then I will measure the next point okay so this uh, this is 25.909 okay 25.909 so I will mark a point here 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 and here so this dimension is 25. Uh, 25.909. 25.909. Okay. So here this is uh, 14.969 okay so I will mark a point here and here one here and another here okay so this is this length is 14 point this length is 14.969 here this is and here this is this 15.031 15.03 dimension this is 15.031 okay okay so this is uh, this point is D this point is E okay so I have marked all the points then the next step is I will join the uh, draw the top hexagon that is A A to B B to C C to D D to E and E to F then dark all the sides you will get the top hexagon Similarly, I will draw the bottom hexagon. PQ, QR, RS, ST, and T. the 
can join all the vertical edges all the six vertical edges then dark all the vertical edges okay so this is the isometric view of a hexagonal slab then on the top of this hexagonal slab there is one sphere so first I will draw the diagonal of the top face joint 4 2 and 1 3 you will get the intersecting point so this in the from this intersecting point draw a vertical line so this uh, uh, length of this line is the radius of the circle radius of the circle is 20 mm then uh, take the calculator and then uh, 20 multiplied with 1.225 so by heard this value 20 multiplied with 1.225 that means 24.5 multiplied with 2 that is 49 that is the diameter of the circle so with 49 diameter draw a circle so this this has center then 49 and diameter draw a circle so that is the that is the isometric view of a hexagonal uh, sphere over a hexagonal slab so once again so question is a sphere of 20 mm radius is placed centrally over hexagonal slab of side length to 30 mm and thickness 20 mm draw the isometric view of the combination so this is the top view and this is the front view and this is the isometric view then apply all dimensions so the thickness of the slab is 20 mm the radius of this the diameter of this uh, sphere is 40 mm and the side of this hexagon is 30 mm okay so this uh, this uh, diameter is 49 mm so uh, radius multiplied with 1.225 so the height of this hexagonal slab is actually 20 mm this height of this hexagonal slab okay. so this is the top view front view and isometric view of the sphere with the hexagonal slab